It is. This is a really cool piece. Uh, this is a combination of several different fashionable looks in sportswear and, and outer gear. It starts with a baseball style jersey. And it's done in a wonderful combination. It's high, cotton rich, 50% cotton. Uh, this is all done in tackle twill embroidery. This is the same way that you used to do letter sweaters in, in high school, if you remember that. And this isn't a faux button front, it's a real button front, okay? And it's an engineered piece. So what you see, like on the Eagles, just bear with me. Sydney, I'll try to get the camera angle better for you. Okay, so notice how the G ends here. And then on the other side, it's actually elongated. So when you put it all together and button it up, there's no break in that script for your team's favorite logo. That's, that's a massive amount of hand workmanship on this. Then, take you to the next level, here's more embroidery on the left-hand sleeve. So they then took their baseball jersey style, put it with a hood, because so many guys and girls love that hooded look, and then they made it short sleeve. So this becomes a piece that right now, when it's still stupid hot outside, you can wear it and be comfortable. When it gets to be a little bit chillier, you throw on your long sleeve t-shirt and throw this on over the top of it. Then when it starts to get really cold in December, you throw on an NFL jacket over the top and you're still comfortable. Uh, I always dress for three layers for a winter game because it'll actually get really warm where, where the Eagles play. And so you wind up having to take a layer off. Now, if you live in Green Bay, you dress in seven layers and you're comfortable. Plus, Green Bay fans never whine. Only Eagles and Dallas fans do that. <laughs> Let me bring back Jerry, my buddy. Jerry Schatzer, again, knows more about apparel with football than any human being I know. Jerry, I'll update people. We already sold out of the Rams, so L.A. Okay. is gone. Uh, already sold out of the Bengals, and sadly, but we expected that, uh, we don't have Dallas anymore either. Okay? Well, you, had the, two pe you yeah. had the two teams in the Super Bowl last year and Dallas, and that doesn't surprise me that uh, they're, they're, they are gone because – you know, even though we showed this a little bit last year, and you made a great presentation there on what this is, but it's again, it's one of those pieces where it's only at QVC. It yeah. was exclusive to you guys last year, and uh, we had a great time showing it. Uh, we brought, we have a few pieces back. That's what we want to bring it back right now. But what's nice about this is that you have both the NFL and MLB. We married them, and you did a great thing showing this jersey because. This is a real professional baseball yeah. jersey. And the way to tell that is when you button it up or unbutton it, where you have the overlapping tackle twill, and this tackle twill always will be in your team's secondary color. Yes. The jersey will always be in your primary color. And this is what they call a French terry. But, Dan, it has stretch in it. It has spandex. Yep. Uh, so when you the put this on, Yeah, it's 4% yeah. spandex. And, Jerry... Pardon me for pointing this out. Uh, we're having a little bit of color correctness problem with your camera at home that you're yeah. wearing the Eagles, but it might be showing up to the folks at yeah. home looking blue. Uh, it, yeah, it is, it is yeah. this it is color green. Eagles green. Yeah, we tried to correct that. Something was going on with our camera the other day. So people, when you look this, sometimes our colors are off a little bit because you got to remember we're doing this from home. We don't have the same time, the great cameras they do in the studio, but everything is going to be your correct team color. Uh, yeah. so someone, someone had thought that, you know, we were just doing it as a practical joke, but people yeah. don't understand <laughs> Eagles fans have no sense of humor at all. Yeah, well, you know, I'm one of them, so yeah. that's, you know. <laughs> We don't like anything, but yeah, it's going to be green. And sometimes our blues look a little black and so forth. But again, you got to remember that these are going to be your perfect team colors. If you look at Dan right there, the Patriots, yeah. that is the Navy, the color of the Patriots. The red is their secondary color. The logo on the side is your official team logo. And then even on the hood, uh, this is a, a Heather Jersey yeah. we put there, but That's it's nice. double layered. It's not just one layer. Yep. It's a double layer. So now, and I will tell you this, anything with a hood on it, if you have a youngster 
who is maybe 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and he can get into one of our smalls or one of our mediums. Yep. He'll wear this all the time because the two things kids wear, and I don't care if it's Thanksgiving, I don't care if it's Christmas, two things they wear, shorts and hoodies. Agreed. That's all they wear. Okay. They don't yeah. wear long pants anymore. It's shorts and, shorts and hoodies. So anyone would like to have this, I don't care. That's true. What, what age you are. Something I would wear, something that you know my, my you know my uh, the youngsters would would wear. It's just a super super nice piece because you have the baseball and you have that football look. Yeah, and it, if you look at the back there, it's officially licensed by the NFL. Yeah, I and I've never seen this ever done before. You brought it to QVC. Mm-hmm. It is. Last year was the first time we brought yeah. this out. It was something we wanted to try because again, you know, we mentioned this before. We do different things at QVC with the NFL because in order for us to keep our license, we have to be ahead of the game. So we try every year to do something a little bit different, a little yeah. bit something above and beyond what the, you know, you can always go to the mall and you could buy a plain gray T-shirt and you could buy an Eagles, you know, green hoodie. Yeah. Fine. Everybody has them. Everybody likes them. But you have to have something a little bit different, something above what the other person's doing to keep that license. And we at G3 have been trying to do that, and our main place that we go to is QVC. And we do it every year, every year. And uh, hopefully we don't stop. <laughs> Jerry, I, re I remember the days, and it wasn't that long ago. It was 20, 25 yeah. years ago, where NFL apparel looked like prison wear. It looked like you yeah, know yeah. gray yep. prison yard sweats. And yeah, that's, that's all that was out there. So mm -hmm. since we've got a couple minutes, Tell the story of Mr. Banks, who started this company, G3. He didn't right. start as a fashion designer. Uh, no. He, he was yeah. a football player. Carl Banks, number 58 for the football giants, yep. linebacker. Uh, when he was in his prime, okay, he started dabbling in fashion wear. And he got a license with the NFL, and all he was doing was men's big and tall suede and faux leather jackets. That was it. And then uh, we came along, we, we met, merged with Carl, G3 Sports, yep. and he is now uh, one of our acting, you know, VPs of sales. Uh, and what we were able to do is grow that business from that into a big, big fashion business where we were able to just go from outerwear, which was all we did, men's outerwear, that was it. We didn't do ladies. At all. Back yep. None. Uh, and believe it or not, ladies now, it's about 45% of our business. I, ladies, I, I active agree. wear and outerwear. It yeah. is because they, they want it. So that's why we have grown that, 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 that gigantic uh, business. And you're going to see we have dresses. We have hoodies. We have things you would never have thought of, uh, you know, 5, 10, even, you know, years ago. It, it, we, the business has expanded because the NFL is so big. And something like this, it just shows the ingenuity and the, something different that we always try to bring every year. Again, I'm so impressed with the way they stitched it. This is called tackle mm -hmm. twill embroidery. Uh, yes, my best did. analogy, yep. again, is that's, that's how our letter sweaters in high school were made. Uh -huh. I know yep. that because they gave letters out for speech and debate. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> well, hey, and this is this is a double layer tackle twill. So what you're going to have is you're going to have two layers. You've got one layer on top of the other layer, yep. and that's even harder to do because you have the white background and your team's secondary color. So you have a double layer that's tackle great. twill with your, the name across the front, and then the tackle twill on the sleeve with your team official logo. I let her in baseball, Jonathan. I've have, I've got an internal argument going on with my producer in my earpiece. I let oh, her yeah. in baseball. Okay. okay. I was a shortstop. Yeah. Good grid, you know. Tell them. Well, what? I got a little upset there, didn't I? <laughs> you, still have your, you still have your letter. I thought I got something to prove. Sorry about that. Okay? I haven't you always been have... a slouch that I look like today. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, we're going to bring back one of the most popular items in the show for a real quick hit. I thank you so much for what you hey, and your you. family and what G3 do. For my customers, for our fans, and for the NFL in general. Thanks, buddy. All right. This was the star of the show.